What's up, what's up, everybody? Hopefully everybody can hear me all is well. Um, if you're a new member, this is the Sunday stock scan, where we just kind of, we'll, we'll run through a scan, we'll go through some tickers in the chat, see what we can uh, set up for the following week. Uh, if you're a following member, let's get ready to kill it this week. And if you are a uh, mentor member, the, the private chat, um, are you guys ready for this marathon? Because we're going to do this one, the homework assignment, and the private stream. So, let's get ready to kill it this week. And because eh, we still got a little bit, let's see what the dollar's doing. Mark's up. What's up, guys? Dollar's selling off right at this point. Couldn't hang. Broke up or went up here. Just consolidated, bounced right back down. So we'll look for the dollar somewhere around here. But I'm really thinking more somewhere in this zone. We might just get a small little hang up consolidation zone here. Not the strongest one. So actually, just for future reference, just for that quick little reference, might hang up here. I think this is the stronger one to grab it at. Yes, dollar die. Uh, I don't know. Let me see where I'm at. My forex pairs actually. I don't know if I wanted to die just yet. Uh, my stop loss is in the green. I know that. Yeah, I'm on the. Uh, my trade is in uh, U.S. Canadian dollar. It's a little overbought. We're gonna bump that stop loss up a tad bit more actually. Stop loss is at one three four zero nine four. Watching you on a plane, the flight is late. Let me know what you think about the charts I sent out and how they correlate to your thoughts. Boom. I will. Let's uh let's see what happens on the natural gas side. Anybody else have a heart attack when they saw that? <laughs> uh, how annoying. Uh there was obviously a glitch. Uh but Friday it did kind of send out a scare because this was just a giant red candle and man, you could have really freaked out on that. Uh, had D gas <laughs> opened up, that would make D gas at like a five thousand dollar ticker. It'd have been crazy. We should see it start to pick up from here somewhere. Unless that's actually it. Unless we actually gap down to here and just made that a giant green candle. Two seven two. Hang on, just while we're. Live. Let me open up something else and check out my phone. I just want to double check, make sure this is correct. Let me. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna open it up on my phone. Ng. Let's see where we're at. Oh yeah, so pretty good size gap down. We are at two seven two right here. So, um, just checking on a different brokerage. So yeah, ignore this giant green candle. We actually gapped down, which is so far. Awesome for my degas position and how many other people are holding degas. Um, the the clues were this giant wick right here. We knew the sellers were, were pushing this thing down. We broke this trend line. We saw some momentum down. Uh, it was a quick snap back of that over oversold bounce. But now the herd is just going this way. We are trending this way. We're just going down. It is degas season um, again. I really wanted to go to here or here. Uh, where the that was the zones I was really looking at. Um, let's see, we're right here. You know, if we really just sell off, sell off down to here, uh, this is the point I might start looking at you guys intraday. Uh, that's it. I'm not swinging it yet. I won't. I won't be swinging you guys until we hit down here, or we just get a solid bounce and it's it's summertime kicking in. The fundamentals need to to back it up. Uh, right now, it was kind of back and forth on this. So it was kind of 50-50. Fundamentals said we're going down. Technical said we might get a small bounce right here. Um, but just to make that clear, we gapped right over it. So let me be clear. No one should be buying this. Sorry if you're in you guys. No, what's up, man? Everybody. Gap down, but not that far. Ah, wasn't a bad gap. I mean, that was a pretty, still a pretty significant move. Let's check out some of the other ones. Let's see what oil did. A little bit different oil or order, but so we do oil. We ended today here, ended Friday here, gapped up to here, pushed up, still in that consolidation zone. So let's see if this gets rejected. Still got a lot of time before market open, so no one's placing any bets right now. Um, it would be kind of senseless to do so anyway. Uh, lots of time before the market opens, before you can even trade it, unless you are trading the futures, contract themselves. Gold broke up. Hmm. This will be an interesting one. 
as far as gold goes, you can see where the trend's going. You know, yeah, we got a little crazy here, but we came back down, we corrected. Um, if we just forgot this was there, and I don't like saying this because I don't want anybody to start forgetting candles were there, but I've said it a couple times before, you know, if we just ignored that, um, there was a glitch in your chart, whatever you want to call it, no one would know that spike was there, okay? See what I mean? Not that this has any, you should never like trade this way, but just to see where, where the herd's going, where the crowd's going, it's been trending up for a while. Uh, we just we, we got a little, a little crazy. We ran away. We came back down. We're, we're back on track. We're moving up. Um, and we, yeah, we tried to bounce here, but ultimately we stayed on top. So I'm kind of like a rally base, rally type of move. Uh, still looking to sell gold up here in this area. And uh, we have this resistance just drawn right here, which we bounced before. So in the meantime, let's. We'll draw these again later, but I know TradingView still likes to yell at me when I have too many lines drawn. So we'll we'll check back in on this. Right now, gold, gold doing its thing. I need gold to go to the moon. <laughs> yeah, gold. I, I don't think. I mean, I've some a lot of people have been killing it. I traded J Nug I think once last week. A lot of people have been killing it. These are the miners, by the way. Let's see where the miners are at. Yeah, so we, we pushed up here. We sold out of this zone perfectly, right? This would have this should have been your clue right here that we we're not we're not done. You know, almost like that bull flag right here. because uh, we sold off, we came right out of this zone, but we stopped right here. Stopped right here, came back up, test sold at the top again, came back down, and we're still hanging right here. Uh, so something to be a little concerned with if you're in the JDST place. If you're seeing this as this is the great JDST entry, this would have been kind of like my type 2 entry where because uh, JDST will go up when this goes down. So this would have been an awesome JDST entry. And by the time we get out here, you know, your stop loss, if you are trading like me, your stop loss is at least right here. So either one of these would have tagged you out and you could have gotten back in. There were still a couple good trades you could have had there. You still made money. Um, as of right now, I'm kind of favoring... I don't know if I want to fight this trend just yet. We got the inverted curve on Friday, which caused that panic. Um, and then everything sold off. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't want to dig deep in that because I'm a trader and I don't invest. I'm not really that worried about it because I'll roll with those punches when the time comes. But when the inverted curve comes, usually, like, that's supposedly a sign of a crash, like, a year or two down the road. Like, just, it's a, it's a red flag to pay attention to. Um, but people sold off like that crash was coming over the weekend on Friday. Hope market bounces back a bit tomorrow in TQQQ. Uh, funny enough, I am in TQQQ as well. I uh, totally forgot about my Weeble account and I was playing TQQQ for a bounce. Um, where are we at? Let's do... Let's check them out right now, actually. I think we're fine, actually. <laughs> Minor pullback. Uh, but we are back up to here. I uh, wish I could just delete that candle because it's making the charts go. TQQQ goes up. Usually Apple does as well. Eric, that is because um, Apple and Amazon hold the most weight. That's something you can actually Google uh, pretty quickly. Uh, one of them is 12%. One of them is like 15%. But yeah, well, you'll see TQQQ. Uh, what moves that is Amazon and Apple. So if you see those two having a rocking day, you'll see TQQQ having an awesome day as well. Uh, so what did we close here came up here uh, so we're pushing up I'm really the reason I'm not that worried about TQQQ is I think we'll just bounce right here um, even though I am in it now so if, if we break this I'm not going to just bag hold this forever but let's check it out on a higher time frame yeah we're already this green candle is going to mess everything up as far as the way it looks but I know we're right here uh, so we didn't even touch it. We already bounced. But yeah, if we do sell off right here, this is what I'm watching for. My stop loss is, is right after this zone right here for TQQQ. Other than that, uh, I'm rocking it. I don't know if I'll add on to it, though. Maybe. Um, as far as like the bulls and the bears, that's just a, a normal pullback. I mean, look at this rocking move we had right here. Even if you wanted to call it from this move right here, just green, 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 green. Got a little carried away. 
came back down to reality, uh, dropped some stuff off at the moon, coming back, making that second trip. So, yeah, for the cues, not that worried yet. It would need to break and hold below this before I got nervous. Yeah, this is tradingview.com. Um, this is a free website. So if we go to... That's the CFD version, which has these giant tickers. But if we go to the actual contract, uh, it's delayed. It's the only thing. And I probably am going to upgrade to the premium just for everyone else. Um, for now, I just haven't because you can go to the CFD version. It gives you the free data. Uh, so like natural gas one. Everybody thinks I'm yelling at them when I say NG one and then exclamation mark. Uh, you have to type that in. It's all the contracts. Um, just in one giant contract but it's delayed by we'll see this thing move 10 minutes so we're about to watch it move in one minute uh, let's see what we do I don't think LABU moved at all yeah, watching that one watching this for a bounce right here let's get off the daily I know it sounds crazy right now, but I think I'm more in favor of LABU for that dip buy. Uh, we did reject this. It is a, a lower high. We had a really tough time breaking this right here. Uh, but, you know, we still have made higher lows on these pullbacks. So I'm going to watch this area. And as you can see here, as long as we stay above these, it's just another um, higher low. Uh, but I'll be concerned when we start getting up here. So this would be one. If I got into this one, I would start to trail it. And uh, if I was up a good amount, I'd probably lock it in. I don't know if I'd swing this one. I'm in D-Gas. D-Gas and <laughs> T-Q-Q-Q. Oh, what's up, everybody? <laughs> a great Canadian. 100 people watching and only 10 likes. Get over that button and smash it. I have to agree. I think every I think everyone in the world had a feeling D gas was gonna rise, but all the indicators said don't buy. Well, yeah, if you trade indicators, you probably got in U gas because it was oversold, right? Or yeah, oversold. Ugh, not to bash on anybody trading indicators, but man, anybody who taught you how to use indicators, they usually say this at the end. They don't always work, uh, which is cr anyway. Yeah, they don't always work. That'd be a bad time to buy on the time they don't work. Time to trade your indicators. <laughs> In LABU at the top of the zone. Probably not a bad one. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, so it's been a while, but good to, good to be here. Good to have you guys here. Welcome again, everybody. 109. Uh, let's, uh, let's check out the scanner. Does this bring everything? Uh, just in case, let's refresh it. You know you use the indicators off camera. <laughs> no, no, I don't like losing. Um, I, again, this is not to bash anybody. Indicators are, um, I don't care if you use them. They, they're they a great crutch, but what I say sounds pretty harsh. I think they're a joke. Um, to think you could just jump in, put some money in your account, and tr literally just trade when that indicator says buy. Like, come on, who would have a job? Why would we even be talking about college if that was the case? no one would go like oh do i want to go learn a bunch of stuff just that my parents talked me into because i said i'd be successful or do i just want to click buy when rsi says oversold or broke above a middle vwap or bollinger band or uh we're at that great spot on fib retracements uh just things just don't work that way but if you use indicators again i don't want to offend anybody if it's been profitable for you keep doing your thing no don't fix what isn't or like what is it why fix what isn't broken <laughs> love the MACD and RSI my definition of them that, uh, that looks pretty slow CDNS this one's just been consistent they have, I'm curious why they're calling this a horizontal pattern horizontal support and resistance strong Unless they're grabbing that. Unless they're grabbing this right here. 
Here's that support, here's that resistance, just that last part, and they're just showing the whole chart. This one hasn't been, this one hasn't been bad, but we'll check it out. Uh, no, that one's selling off. These are some crazy, this is a daily time frame, so we really need to be focusing on just this last little bit right here. Cron. You know, I hate to say it, but that's at a, it looks like it's at a pretty, uh, that might see a bounce actually tomorrow. They're drawing a channel up right here when we got a ways to go. Nothing I would bag hold, but intraday you guys can see this support right here. We just dragged that over. Let's check out Cron here a second. Eric, we talked about last time just a major sell off, so no. EWJ to Japan ETF. So that almost looks nice. Just higher lows, higher lows with that common resistance. I like those breakout plays. I only use the indicators so they confirm my ideas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of people will use the indicators that do confirm their ideas. Like, well, that one doesn't work. Let me go down the list and try another one. What's that? I think there's a whole smorgasbord of indicators. Gotta love that one. It's like 20 EMA lines. Uh, I don't like the expanding stuff. H HCZ looks like it's, it's the time to make it or break it. Had a crazy sell off. I wonder what happened there. So HTZ, Cron, and it was an E, right? Maybe not. HTZ and Cron, let's check those out. Uh, I did go over oil. We could jump back into it though. HCZ with a nice little uh, reversal candle on the four hour. Right here at this just quick support. Nothing crazy. No real zone. Uh, let's see. Uh, so if you're going to trade HTZ, you know, uh, big picture, we're still making higher lows. So, you know, we're still rocking that. Uh, it looks like a pretty easy play because you can get in here and cut out here, you know, because if it breaks that, it's probably headed down here um, or one of these. Likely, I'd rather get it in right here, though. But at the same time, that would be a quick, very quick intraday pullback because right there we just made lower lows. We've made lower low, lower high, and another lower low. So while we might, you might just end up like this candle right here, but not gap up, might just come breaking right through that. How do I get into your Discord? There is a link right below. Uh, the top link is the mentorship chat. I think the other one right below is the um, free chat for everybody. Cron. This is just like Bitcoin. It's just the latest series of pump and dumps. But um, if these guys are going to, if they're trading technicals and they're going to get that bounce, they're going to hype this thing up. The flavor of the week might have one more bite in it. It would have to be like a wick or something. Yeah, if we were just to chart this out right here. Let's see. Sorry, let me grab that. So here's how I would play this one. I'd look at this black hole that I wouldn't ever look at. So right now all we did was we broke into it broke into it which is fine there's that consolidation here's that game of tug of war uh you know we've seen these wicks before down to here so maybe be mindful again if it does break let's see where that candle closes and see where it confirms 19 will be a pretty strong level uh just psychologically uh, maybe there's an intraday trade on on quran um, or maybe it's just going to sell off and, and go to the floor uh, so i definitely would keep it tight on that one You're not with LPP anymore. Uh, no, no. Once I started my own thing, uh, Ricky wasn't a fan. And uh, so that's why he demoted me. Uh, I don't know why. A bunch of the other advanced traders, they have their own courses. But when I started mine, he just did not like that. So, no, I'm not. I haven't been posting it in there. Nobody knows. I didn't want to just be that guy. Uh, I just told everybody I was busy. I am doing my own chat. I got to follow those members. Um, but, yeah, that's why I'm not an LPP.
uh, or why I'm not. My name's not yellow or anything. I'm just one of the uh, the common folk. <laughs> Uh, let's see Tesla on the three Tesla on the three or one week is on a trend line let's check it out let's uh let's go into you guys's call outs I've seen a few let's just post them again um, I don't want you guys to think I'm skipping it but if I scroll up I'll forget and then I'll, I'll scroll down and I really miss a whole bunch you said three year one week so let's go to the weekly I think I really want this just to burn down one more. I hope if I just hope you're not in it, um, or you're willing to just ride this thing down to here, because this is where I really wanted to get in. Um, I went over this for for the members, right? We sold off, we bounced here. It was a quick bounce, right? We sold off here again, just another lower high, and now we broke this trend line. And I wasn't even too crazy about this trend line, but if it, it is there and we did break below it, and we tried to push back up, sold and closed below it, and we're just staying below it. Um, so I really want to get Tesla right here. I made a whole video just about it. But let's grab the weekly. Let's see what you're talking about. Which... Okay. The members know what these two lines mean. <laughs> Going over that next. Last last chance to change your homework. Uh, let's see. You, you drew a weekly three year, one week. So we got to the nineteen eighteen seventeen. Maybe you're grabbing this. Grab that candle body. Uh, if you're watching that, not bad. Uh, that means we have all of n this next week to just make a giant wick, which would be perfect. You know, just like it's done before. Boom, come grab this zone, bounce right back out. We can close that weekly candle in a wick, and we're all happy. I got my entry. You're still in it riding that weekly, and uh, that trend line still holds. Boom. Call it a day. Ah, thanks, Queen CB. Uh, I like helping people. Looks different on Thinkorswim. Yeah, these charts aren't exactly the same. Let's get it back down to reality. What do we got here? T VIX. Cruising up. Ooh, confirm the top, but are we gonna hold? Is the spy just gonna? This is what that like the fear factor, you know. Things sold off. There was that inverted curve, and we watched this thing just take off on Friday. Uh, other than that, we just bounced here. We sold here, came off, touched, barely touched that again. Would you say that successful trading is ten percent identifying patterns and ninety percent the actual proper execution? Yes. I don't know about those numbers though. Um, yeah, patterns are there. They're easy, easy to identify. I, but a lot of it might be knowing uh, which patterns to actually play, because patterns you get sold a lot um, usually aren't the play. Uh, if you're talking about like traditional patterns, those are worthless. But they work really great in hindsight to show you. Um, so yeah, I guess if you're in TVIX, uh, watching this zone right here, we did just. We held right above it. Is that going to continue, uh, or are we just run out of buyers and we're gonna we're gonna come right back down? We had this resistance right here a while back, and we haven't even touched it yet. So something to watch out for. If I was in it though, I probably wouldn't hold it below this zone anymore. Um, if spy is gonna pick up, that looks like it's it's a pumping. Not that it is, but I'm saying it looks like a pumping up. We have some unusual volume. We know why that volume's there. Um, and then even yeah we just come out the buyers right there but if you look what we've been doing you know almost like the inverse of spy well yeah just watch out for this this is right now this is bph at 70 bucks who's getting in 
I'll give it 50 bucks. This is BPH at 50. We haven't hit 70 yet. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. It's done this before though. So if the market's gonna start doing good and then there's that fear just isn't there, you're gonna watch this come right back down. So be careful, manage your risk. Um, hopefully we are, uh... no. For ETFs, zones, aren't you worried with the decay messing with your zones? Um, if you notice, I don't draw any of my zones on the ETF itself. So no, I'm not worried because I do all my zones on natural gas and oil and gold on the actual underlying asset itself. And then I trade that. Um, so no, DK isn't just chomping at the bit, just destroying your positions. It will for long-term swings, right? But your your intraday, your your small swings, you're not seeing it. Um, I made a video on how DK works, um, and that was like the one few times you'll see it just right in front of your face um, with slippage and how things work overnight. Um, so it's in my. I think it's in my how to trade playlist it, it should be in there for sure but it's it's called decay and how it works or how does decay work um and it explains it uh, that's the only time i'm actually worried about uh decay is when there's just monster moves like that when like when natural gas became a momentum stock other than that i'm not worried i'm not scared of it some people just really like to play on that don't buy that because an ETF and it decays and they're over here playing a penny stock on a pump and dump and you're like oh good luck with that yeah mine decays but it doesn't look like that you know so uh, you know just whoever you're getting your advice from um, don't let their bad experience change your opinion on how to trade uh, but just know everything make your own opinion AMD looking like a rock and buy zone to be honest um, I'd like to delete all these because we're never going to come back down here again, right? Let's just free up, free some of these up so it doesn't look crazy. We'll catch them later. Uh, let's see. Ric Flair wants you to break down seal. Okay. Yeah, so AMD, you guys can see what I see right here. Right? A crazy pull-off. It's Even on your indicators, it probably says this thing's oversold. Um, so watch out for that. I think that looks like a good one, actually. I like AMD. Um, it does good. When it does good, it does really good. We are trending up. We know where we got all these levels from. So looks like that looks like just a great pullback. Um... The only thing that has me worried is this monster move right here. I know what that was from. I know what announcement that was from. Uh, but are we going to really pull back right here? Is that hype going to die off a little bit more? It's still trending up. I still like it. Uh, but is the pullback going to be done? We're going to see kind of it chill out more to this level and then start to push back up. So um, Monday, I might actually watch this one. We'll just have to see. You know, If that breaks, I'm not in it. I'll just wait and grab it down here. This is like a pump and dump. Yeah. So what, this has got hyped up on some news. Yeah, Therapeutics Company. Got some hyped up news. Sold right back off. Now it's just bleeding off. This is everybody messing with you. This is called a pump and dump right here. And this is all the retail traders still thinking it's going to do this again. And so you're seeing that leftover volume just bleed out. These are people just slowly giving up over time. Here's that hype again. And then we're already back down. Uh, so I'd be careful with this one. These are easy to hype. You know, it, but if this is the one, right? This is you're gonna play this one till it goes to zero or to a hundred, um, because whatever news they announced, you resonate well with, and you think it's going good. You're looking at the fundamentals or whatever reason you're in this. Uh, maybe watch this trend line because uh, you're gonna break that. Then you're gonna break these these levels and make some lower lows. You're gonna see a lot of sell signals coming on right around this area right here, and then right here. You're going to break just too many, and it's going to start coming down to like this level right here. And are you prepared to ride that thing all the way down there? And when that breaks, what are you going to do? I mean, I don't even use the indicators. Look at the volume. Nothing. And then some hype. Now it's back down. AMD coming out with a new CPU, and it could be a success. <laughs> and it could be a success. Hey, this one, this one, guys, I'm telling you, this one could be good. Watch out. This one might work. This is the one that's going to kill Intel, I promise. Not like all the other ones. This one's going to work. 
really not hating just the way you ordered that was I found that funny could be a good one it's like buying a lottery ticket bought a lottery ticket this one could be a good one have you ever traded pharmaceuticals uh, I have I'm not worried about them um, but I'm also just not blind to the fact that this is a, a pump and dump uh, I know that they're easily hyped CVS CVS didn't CVS have a good day Sold off Friday, okay. CVS just bouncing back and forth on these zones. Let's get that out of here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about CVS until this breaks right here. Uh, we've been talking about from this zone to this zone, and we pushed up. We had sold off here. It just had that kind of double top right here. Bouncing right here, really horizontal right here. What's that on the hourly? Uh, what I don't like about that is this sell-off. Still, still in that buy zone until it breaks, uh, but I'd keep it tight, probably right here. I wouldn't ride it. And like, let's say this tags out. I'll keep an eye if this alert goes off, but other than that, no. Once we break that, we're, we might start showing off some sell signals you don't want to be in. Um, other than that, once it breaks above this, stop loss right here. Once it breaks above that, stop loss right there. And you might tighten things up right here because we have just struggled to break that. Amazon. Let's do Amazon Apple real quick. Amazon. There's that TQQQ sell off. Here was your clue on that one for sure, though. Broke that trend line, pushed back up. Just confirmed that trend line again from the bottom side. Sold off. Uh, but same same thing we talked about earlier. Uh, I think the bulls are just fine. This is just a, a solid pullback. It's just been rocking, rocking, rocking. People were just locking it in. There was a reason to on, on Friday when everybody got scared from the inverted yield curve. Um, but yeah, I, as far as right now, I am still bullish TQQQ probably Apple when we're about to pull that up and Amazon until that zone breaks and why do I always do there we go oh that's disheartening <laughs> oh, we're doing good doing hey we're back in this nope came right back down that way I touched some buyers are there but why do we not have anything drawn right there Just grabbing this right here. This is what we're looking at on like Amazon and TQQQ. This is that same respected, just because these have been moving so well together. Yeah, still a, still a crazy wick. Um, we are below that area, uh, but let's keep an eye on it. Still, again, just a rocking monster move and a pullback, but just a. Let's do some indicators on this one just to put some of you guys at ease. Where is the retracement? Let's grab let's grab the whole move. From here to here. Just broke that 50% move. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. What's going on with Apple? It doesn't have to move with all the other two, but yet one moves because of this one. But I'm curious why why that move up, what news it was. <laughs> IMMP. Never mind, it's a pump and dump. Sounds like a quick one to break down. That's definitely a pump and dump. Now, like I talked about earlier in the stream where I drew that black box and said, ignore this because look, it's trending up. Don't do that on a pump and dump. Um, yeah, definitely a, a lower cap one. These are great shorts when you catch them up here. But this one almost looks tempting. I mean, out of all the pump and dumps, at least it's been making higher lows this whole time. Apple is announcing their streaming service on March 25th. Tomorrow. Okay. People are just waiting for anticipation, huh? 
Super interested in your course. Care to share a little more about how it works when your check-ins are? Uh, well, my course is actually the Trading A to Z playlist. That's just going to be 100% free. I don't really think people should be buying courses because um, there's no set way to say the market's going to do this or if this happens, do this. Uh, you see a lot of things contradict themselves. You just see a lot of uncertainty in the market at any given time because you can't put rules on it. Uh, so my course, my idea of how to trade is that Trading A to Z playlist. Um, just give me time to, to put it all out. And that's kind of like my, my idea. But the mentorship is me going live. I'm going to go live as soon as this is done. Um, where we got a homework assignment on Sundays. And then Sunday through Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Time, uh, we go live. We do breakdowns just like this. I go a little bit more in detail. Um, Fridays was a little rant heavy, or Thursdays was. Uh, but yeah, more rants, more details. It's not on YouTube. It's on um, Zoom. So if you have a microphone, you have a quick question, you can ask me a question, and I can hear you, I can see your face, if you have a webcam, a little more interactive at that point. Um, VNet. I see why you like VNet. Let's grab these bottom wicks right here. What is VNet? Man, even I kind of like this. This is, this is definitely catching that falling knife stage. Uh, last time we talked about it was if it breaks this, wait for it to come back up. Because look, if you don't want to catch this falling knife, you can just wait for that thing to take back off, and there's plenty of margin. That's why this line is solid from the last time we broke this down, because it's just candle bodies and wicks below. Uh, I don't like the fact that we're closing below it now, um, and we've been making lower highs for a while now. Uh, but you might catch some leftover buyers right here at this area. So let's, uh, if you're really eyeballing this, you want to trade my strategy like zones maybe I would take a type 1 right here and see if it takes off I would definitely keep it tight I'm not riding this thing if it breaks that man that has a huge catalyst I mean here's the monster moves down it's just continued to have um, you don't want to ride that any further but if you if you like that if you're that bottom feeder you think there's gonna be something here something intraday um, maybe not a bad little uh, entry right here at the bottom of that 817 ish mark 825 yeah give it five more cents who cares it's not going to turn around on you right now and if it does this is what patience is going to pay off because it's going to turn around and you're not going to care because what if it bounces right here if it bounces right here boom it's going to pull back and grab it right here um, and see if it's going to make another lower high uh, as far as that price action goes um, or let's say it never touches this zone it turns around it breaks above this then you know you can get in here and put your stop loss right here because you don't want it coming back you don't want that to be the next lower high on a bigger wave and come down and just kill your account. Ban apophis. <laughs> yeah, let's see. N E E. Uh, next Terra Energy. Not that I know what this company is. This might be totally different. Everyone is posting these uh, Bang energy drinks. What's the ticker for that? Because I know, I think Monster did really well when it first came out. All that hype was there, but uh, I just want to check, see if that's a publicly traded one or who owns that. And I was actually going to look that up. Uh, any. Yeah, I would like it if it pulled back down to here. Uh, but I would also like to stay inside that candle and, and keep cruising up. This almost looks like the market. This almost looks like a, a S and P kind of play. Rocking days, and then Friday it sells off. So I, I like this. We're gonna chart this out right here. Just this level right here. You know, we struggled to break it. We find we even held right here, but we finally pushed up and we're, we made it. We, the support and resistance play. That we're on the next level. We took the stairs up. This old ceiling is now the floor. Uh, you've been promoted. Awesome job. What I wouldn't like is if it broke that. So I don't want to draw out any zones. Or I mean this. Hang on right here. We're going to keep this one smaller. I would like it to stay above that. And, you know, stop loss but if it broke that. What are your thoughts on Tesla? To the ground so I can get all its shares. Uh, I did go over Tesla. I really just wanted to... I made a whole video on Tesla on Friday, actually. I really wanted to go to 250. Um, I know why there's a lot of hype as far as traders on like the YouTube community. 
because um, we know who's in it and it's a big flashy position um, you know you know we don't need to dance around it so Ricky's made that video he's getting a hundred he got a hundred thousand in in um, uh, in Tesla and, and that's a very clickbaity thing to say it attracts the new guys it, his um, his followers his not his clientele his uh, his reach they like that they like the flashy cars they like the big numbers he doesn't have 100k in there yet he's slowly adding on um, as he goes he's at like 50,000 I think right now and I get everyone's updates when he makes a new position um, so I hope everyone wishes I wish everyone well on that but I really wanted to go down just a little bit further. Uh, I'm not going to. Yeah, let's try it out here. My OCD, I just wanted to draw that to that to that line. Uh, you know, I'm not playing this trend line right now. I still like to play zones. But when we do something like this, like, you know, what if it's this right here is why I'm trying to draw that out for you guys. Um. Because I like to buy in my zones, but I do keep an eye on things. So if this does sell off a little bit more, boom, that's the buy zone. Let's say these candles were actually like right here. Just for one second, we'll move it right here. At that point, I would keep an eye on it and maybe not take a zone play. Maybe more of a trend line play because we might bounce right there. Uh, you have two options. Keep it tight. If it breaks that, stop out. Or keep it loose. Keep a smaller position because you know your stop loss is going to be down here. Maybe add on here at the zone. But I'm going to keep my trend line right here. Hopefully there's some rocking news if you're in this one. But I'm really patient with my entries. I don't like to buy in between zones like this. Tesla <laughs> Tesla below 200. Everyone and their mom buys. I will have already stopped out if Tesla hits 200. That would suck. I'm really hoping that 250 bounce. I think there's going to be a lot of buyers right there. But it's also so obvious we might see a giant fake out too. Like if I was a bank or an institution... And I had enough money to short that thing and drive it down. I would tag everyone's stop loss. Um, but that's because I'm a bank and my goal would be to just destroy everyone's accounts. Uh, we got a big gap right here. Right here. All right, so so we gapped down, we sold off. Uh, this looks like earnings, but it wasn't because earnings brought it right back up. So we actually gapped up above it and took off. So we kind of have this no man's land right here that we actually just closed and confirmed right here. If we were just drawing out support and resistance, it broke that. So maybe we ran the clock down. Uh, also bad earnings again. Uh, so for guess, uh, I would like to get it. I, I'll chart this out as a zone. But I would really, this is one I wouldn't take a type one. It wouldn't be in right here. I would only be in right here like a type two position and maybe a type three on this one once we head out. But my stop loss is already in the green. At that point, if I'm going to add on. Buy low, sell high. <laughs> yeah, you'd think that'd be easy. easy. Uh, I mean, that's that's always the game plan. How long are your streams in the membership? They're supposed to be an hour. Uh, they haven't been an hour, and they're going to be. Because some people are waiting up for me. And, and I said this in my last stream. I, it was very disrespectful that my streams have taken longer than an hour because um, they're waiting up for me and then because uh, once it's done they, they upload they can't watch it live so they'll wait for the upload and then there's been a couple members that are waiting for the upload and waiting and I literally just finished up so it takes a while to uh, convert it because they're all saved um, so going forward they will be an hour long and I go over the ETFs in every one of them I, I plan at night I do all my planning at night uh, how I personally trade and then I set alerts and so we talk about that and I'm always trading the same ETFs. There's always one going up, so I don't have a need to run a scanner or anything else. I just pick the one that's going up and trade that one. And man, doesn't that sound good on paper? Just pick the one going up. A little bit more to it than that, but. Uh, last thing I'm gonna do is sell anybody on any wild pipe dream or anything. Uh, if you take my course or you're joining the mentorship, um, I, it's not likely you turn your $200 into a Lambo in a week. It's going to be a little bit longer than that. Two, maybe three weeks. Uh, so we broke out of this channel up we had drawn. Before I continue, that was obviously a joke. I don't need anybody trying to roast me on that. But I'm going to watch this area right here. for TW, uh, TWLO. 
Yeah, so if we break this, it, so if we just had this drawn as a trend line, right? We broke above it, we're just bouncing on it on the top now. Awesome news. Uh, we still have this bottom trend line kind of in play. Uh, but I'm watching the zone. So if this breaks, you know, horizontally speaking, I'd be curious what we do at kind of this level. And then we had a lot of interaction right here, actually. So inside this channel up, I'm not going to ride it all the way down, but I would still play these zones. In fact, let's get rid of this. I don't want that to be distracting. What do you think about the 15% drop on Gush? Clear bank manipulation. Does this mean Gush has a great chance of bouncing up now? Mm, nah, Gush is natural gas and oil. I think natural gas is going down. Uh, and oil, yeah, oil, oil is kind of in a zone. Uh, but I skipped gush and drip, so we'll have to go over those next. Yeah, so watching that for TWLO. Uh, let's see, so what we do, we drop down, bounced here, rejected that, so we're selling off right here. So we already bounced into this. This is a support and resistance play. So here we were oversold, we hit a support. There's a lot of reasons why some. Uh, Retail traders are buying right here, and it bounced, and people are locking in profits from this short, and came up here to this zone, and they're selling it again. So on that trend, no. Uh, we just broke too many. We were making higher lows. It was doing good, and we just started cruising through all those supports like they just didn't exist. Um, so that might be the what flags me as maybe drip is the play, um, and not gush. If I was in gush and I grabbed this bottom bounce and I haven't locked it in yet, uh, I would not give it anything past this mark right here. We can grab that tiny little wick. No, I'm not going to ride that all the way down into this zone. Yeah, I mean, as far as drip goes, pushed up, confirmed this on the top, boom. Jansen, I don't know if you're talking to me. <laughs> you do know that Gus and Drip are oil and natural gas, right? I don't know how long this lag is, but I literally just said that. No, uh, this lag must be crazy by the time you guys see it. Did you see natural gas support? I see on the daily 269. Let's go over the daily. I see a pretty strong support right here at uh, 0.95. So I'm looking to really lock things in around there on my degas position. Uh, where was that at? Oh, here we go. Uh, I see daily 2679. Two six seven. Okay, so yeah, that's in this zone. Even if you're on think or swim, it's gonna be right around here, right here in this zone. And and yeah, I mean, I, I I'm curious. I'm gonna we'll have to see where we're at when we get there. Uh, if we jump into this zone tomorrow, we might just see a small pullback. I just think we're maybe this week, maybe next week. I'm still obviously I'm not calling that move out. By the way, don't hold account D gas and just see if I'm right two weeks from now. Uh, but uh, my opinion right now for natural gas for the next probably couple weeks, maybe week, week and a half, you know, um, we'll probably just keep trending down. So if we, if we get crazy, we'll see a pullback. Uh, overall trend, though, I think we're going to be down. So I want to see it bounce more here. And here I'm definitely loading up on you guys. Um, and, you know, if I lose, I lose because I will cut it if, it if it breaks. I don't want to ride it all the way down to, you know, here. <laughs> uh, you guys will have reverse not reverse yeah it will have split um, six or seven times at that point uh, yeah UA and that reminded me of BA and UA uh, I just I saw this one in the chat earlier and it was one I was interested in as well as far as the can, yeah still selling off so my alerts are here, boom. That's where I'm looking at 
Boeing. You know the bounce here. I haven't kept up on the news, the news though, so I don't know what's grounded, what's not. If we're taking off, if things are looking rocking or what. UA, man, if UA is gonna bounce, it's time to show up. Those buyers need to show up right here. Things are gonna get serious. Under Armour. Walmart announced their own brand. We have a. I hate drawing zone on top of zone like that. We're gonna move right here though. Yeah, it's just too clear. Um, let's do let's let's do this though, because we know right here is a. This is a pretty strong support. If it breaks this, we'll check it out in that zone down here. For Under Armour. Have you ever put a trailing stop on your gambling natural gas buy for Thursday? Um, probably not when you think, because um, there's so much whipping back and forth. The only time I actually use trailing stops, like not manually trading and I'm just locking in a trailing amount, is it's it's up so much and I don't care if it tags out. I give it like uh, I was doing it with you guys for a while. If I'm intraday just scalping it, I'd I'd trail it with a dollar. Um, back when it was like a hundred and thirty dollars, and I'd just trail it, and let it run, let it do its thing, and it pull back a dollar and tag me out. Um, at the, if I ever use a trailing stop, it's because it is so close to it that it's just going to push up. I'm just going to ratchet in the pennies as far as the the whole trade has already been made. Um, other than that, I'm just using manual ones. And no, I don't use it right at the report because things just whip back and forth. I don't try to buy both of them and, and sell the loser. Uh, because they whip back and forth, they'll likely just tag you out for two small losses. Netflix is holding right here. Oh, that'd be a cool buy for Netflix. Yeah, trending up, doing doing pretty good. We don't care about this now. Um, but just kind of bigger picture. If we bounce right here, it's just another higher low. We're going to make this one blue. I'm not in this one, but probably should be. You have to check this out. That looks pretty oversold. I hate using those terms because someone's going to think I'm watching an indicator at that point. But, yeah, if we bounce here, it's just another higher low. Things are looking good. By the time we reach this top zone, my stop loss is already in the green. So we're cruising. Uh, let's see, Verizon. Easy, Verizon hit that sell zone. Yeah, here was the zone with the resistance right above it. Uh, so because things got a little crazy, it could definitely keep going. But even the technicals are saying we're going to see a, a pullback somewhere. Yeah, some crazy volume. Did they announce 5G anything? Did some 5G news come out? Is that why all this shot up? I would love Verizon, but the fact that I am constantly on my phone, I'd go like 60 to 70 gigs a month, and my Verizon bill would be like $2,000. Uh, so yeah, I'd, I'd watch out for this. If we get a nice pullback to here, though, I would like it. I like that $59 mark. Uh, a nice pullback and a bounce to support resistance play. Oh, entry at 60 50 with the stop loss. So entry at 60. Okay, so you're trying to get in above this zone. 60, 50. So you're trying to stop loss out at 58. You said $2. Price target. So it's a little bit longer swing. I should have read the name. Surely I know you have these whole plays. Three day win ratio. 58's down here. Price target 70. Yeah, a little bit longer swing. I, I mean, we're, we're headed in the right direction, so you've given it plenty of room. As long as your sub, um, account reflects that. Your position size, not account. Yeah, it says unlimited on Verizon. What they really mean is you have three gigs, and then we're just going to shut it off. Uh, let's see. I don't know what that link is, but...
IBCS. Yeah, I'm not gonna click on the link, um, but I just don't want to say show and hide the whole time. I just don't wanna click on links because I don't want some random hater popping up trying to think he's funny or something like that and then I make a fool of myself falling for it. BCS. Yeah, what I don't like about this one. So we actually broke below. So we actually uh, gapped all the way down, sold off, had a small little bounce at that zone and just confirmed it. Has some gaps quite a bit though. Yeah, I don't like that we broke that and made it and made a lower low. It's just been selling off. Oh, the great Canadian. On. Oh, why is it? What is that link for? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I'd be watching this one. It would need to bounce. I really need to see this bounce and get above. Even then, what if we get above this zone and just do this move and come back down? Yeah, it's one of those falling knives. You're like, you're going to get in here and stop out right here. You can put your stop loss here or here, you know, below this zone or this zone. Uh, and then take a bigger position if your stop loss is going to be here. A little smaller position if you're going to ride all the way down here. So you risk the same dollar amount. When drawing zones, you make them based off the end of the wicks. Uh, more candle bodies because they, they, that's what tells you where the order's closed at. Uh, I work in the telecom industry. It's a big thing for us little guys. Ryzen will launch 5G in 30 cities this year. Boom. So there's the bullish news. Are they going to beat Sprint? I have Sprint, and I'm really hoping for that 3G speed by the time 5G, or they say 5G is out. I'm really hoping my phone can pick back up and I'll have signal. I'll quit dropping calls. I didn't know that was even still a thing until... My wife talked me into not having AT&T anymore. And then you just drop calls. You guys ever heard, of, you guys You guys probably know what it's like to listen to a whole Pandora song at once. A three minute Pandora song for me takes about 15 minutes because it's got a buffer. I have that dial up speed on Sprint. What I would really like is someone that works with Sprint to be listening to me and be curious why I'm having all these problems and fix it. Because there's days it's like a 50-50. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depends if the guy showed up and turned the switch on or not. I mean, I'm dead serious. Like, at my office, uh, I either have signal or I don't. Uh, it's the craziest thing. Uh, so, uh, biologics. Uh, if it's going to bounce, I kind of like it right here. We got that trend line play. We got this horizontal level right here, actually. Once we finally broke above it, we confirmed it up top. Um, so that's what I'd be watching for that. And if we get a trend line bounce, there's a, there's a couple reasons why this one would bounce. Um, if you like, yeah, it's just been selling off, though. I definitely wouldn't hold it if it broke that. Sprint got the Verizon, man. Yeah, they need all the help they can get. Uh, EWZ. Uh, I can't complain about the Sprint's pricing because AT and T and Verizon were. Uh, my AT and T bill was four hundred bucks a month. So cutting it in half, close to half at least, uh, was all right by me. I should Brazil ETF. And the reason why, yeah, we've tried these zones out, but you know we finally broke this. Was there a retest there? Or that wick was almost like the retest of this trend line is sold off. So if I'm actually trading this, we're in this zone right here. Um, some crazy news. Whatever it is, it's driving this thing down. It is selling off. This is definitely a catching the falling knife play. Uh, but the setup is there. This is the zone. If it breaks this, there's no reason to bag hold. You just cut your losses. But if it's going to bounce right here, boom. You know? Get it at the bottom. Call it a day. Okay, we got two more minutes left. Cause I gotta get to the homework assignment for the members. Caterpillar. Now, Caterpillar had a really strong sell-off on Friday. 
So I we'd last time I talked about a caterpillar, I wouldn't want it if it broke this zone. And it did. And they cruise right past this support here. Uh, where are we at? We're right here. Whatever caused this sell-off. Uh, here's what we're looking at recently, though. Lower highs and lower lows. So we ended here. We kind of went sideways right here, indecisive, and then gapped up. Uh, so maybe, man, this is this is gonna be more of a support and resistance play, kind of right here. This is not gonna be the most supply and demand ever. If I'm in it right now, and I'm in recovery mode. I'm watching that zone right here. I don't know if I would, if I didn't have any better tickers to play, I wouldn't mind getting in. I would still, I'd watch this zone right here. If it broke that, I have no care for it. I did break down Boeing. It's almost that zone. MSFT. Let's get rid of this St. Patty's Day. Boom, we can see we are right here. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Microsoft looking good. Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, TQQQ. All looking like it's at that make it or break it. Monday tomorrow is going to be a storyteller. Uh, not something you're going to tell your children. but So right now we have a crazy sell-off on Friday. We're at a major support um, for a lot of companies going across the board. I'm going to end it right here on this little rant. Um, so be... I don't want to say this. Be careful of your positions tomorrow because we're right here. We're inside that zone. So let's get into, let's go to the market real quick. Uh, let's just not do it with the distracting candle. So we know right here, right inside that. Now, Apple, Amazon, TQQQ, uh, Microsoft all have this same pattern. So I can argue both ways. We're just consolidating for a drop. This is a drop-based drop, a drop, uh, drop-based rally. Tomorrow morning is going to tell us, um, are the bulls back on the saddle and we're just going to just clean right out this thing or is it really going to drop? Uh, so maybe a good time tomorrow to watch for any tweets from anybody specific. Um, watch, keep an eye on the news. Uh, right now, we've been, we're trending up, we're doing awesome. This was just a, a pullback. Pullbacks are fine. Nothing to be worried about. Um, but we're just at a significant enough level that we need to keep an eye on it. And if it does break, you don't want it. Um, so, like I said, when I say tomorrow is going to be a, a storyteller, like tomorrow is just going to tell you where this thing's going, where the next chapter is going to be at. Is it going to be below this or is it going to be above this? Uh, we ran that clock out on Friday with what seems to be a nice pullback, uh, but don't go whole account in anything just yet. Uh, definitely, I mean, I'm in TQQQ, obviously, and I'm not worried. Uh, but I'm not going to lie to myself or sell myself any position. If it breaks this, I'm going to be out. Uh, and if we actually break this, push back up and get a retest, uh, I might even consider SQQQ. Um, but for those of you that are following just that, if we see that, here's what I don't want to happen. Because I've now set it on YouTube in a live stream, it'll break this come back up and right here everyone's gonna be thinking Don said this was gonna happen here comes that SQQQ play and then it cruises right on out um, so don't play the back and forth game don't let the market burn the candle at both ends on you uh, make your plan and stick to it um, but if we break this zone tomorrow um, be patient with your entries if we get a bounce here um, I'm, I'm all for the the bulls are in control but uh, let's be mindful and patient tomorrow uh, it is Monday, uh, Monday morning pre-market. Probably not the best time. You don't know who's in there, who's getting, who's got a head start for the week, who's just gonna wait for that normal volume to pick up, pick back up before they trade. Uh, so I am going to call it here. If you are a member, you know this is the homework time. Give me two minutes. Uh, for everyone else, I will uh, see you guys in a little bit. I'll see you on the next video.